Hey guys, what's up? Stephen here and we're back to another video. Uh, previously, we tackled about the properties of Stream GUI and what we need to use. If you don't recall the video, um, actually you just you might have just watched it, but if you didn't know, go to our playlist, find on the screen GUI. So let's continue. This is the same workspace I use on tackling the screen GUI. Uh, nothing's changed, but right now we're going to tackle on the frame. So on the frame, this would be tricky. So I would hold your hold on your seats and let's check check it out. First, I want to tackle is the sizes how to resize it so that it would fit on any screens it would fit on your mobile phone it would fit on your pc those stuff so we're gonna start with this frame that we used before so if you see we're gonna go to sizes we're not gonna check on the other stuff first we're gonna go directly to sizes this sizes means that there's an offset what does offset means the offset means is it would go it, it would not be fixed on a certain place if you if your resolution would be higher so i have the same resolution here so i would not i wouldn't be able to show it but if i go to don if i use something like this kind of stuff you see it would it wouldn't really be on the middle size or whatever that is so this means the size would be offset when you play the game so the results would matter this would be especially useful when we we put on text button and stuff like that like it would not be on a fixed position it would be on a different place that what you actually see on on the screen when you're working on studio so if you're planning to if you're planning to also support mobile and not on PC I would suggest you to always use zero offset and then we would make we would make this the same size we will only use the scale this way even if you scale that you would get the same size on the screen like it would stay on the same place on the screen and then what we're going to tackle another thing is the anchor point let's say on this part if you notice it's not in the middle because the anchor point is this oops hold on let me just click that real quick Th that's the anchor point if you notice this one this is the anchor point so this means that it starts on zero zero like your X would start zero and from here it's gonna count 0.5 through here and that's the same with the Y. It's going to count for 0.5 there. So let's add 5. So it's going to it's always going to start here and it will be resized there. So what's going to happen if I adjust this to 1? And you see that it appeared it started there and then it's going back so usually if you want a center position of the ui you have to adjust it on 0.5 this means that it's gonna go 0.5 there and it would also go uh it, it's gonna go 2.5 there and 2.5 there this way it could have the size of 0.5 so if i go to one i also go to here to one and then i add 0.5 here it would have this kind of space it's gonna always gonna be in the middle because our anchor point is 0.5 and if you want it to be on the same position I, if I put this on 0 
and then I also put it on zero it's gonna go up on the top because the position of your anchor point which is the point 5 would be here so if I set this up it's just gonna cover a quarter of the screen because I set the anchor point to point 5 which is the one on the middle and the and the position would be on zero zero now if I set this to point five two and then point five it would cover the screen because the anchor point is in the middle which is this square and the, the position of that anchor point is also on the middle and the scale is on the size of the whole screen which is one one so if I make this point five and if I make this point 5, you will see that it's actually in the middle. So that's how you would resize your GUI if you want, want to have it the same size on the screen. If you want it in the middle and you don't want to have like an offset on it, remove it. And don't forget to use the scale only, not the offset. And make sure to have a general understanding on your anchor point which is if you make it zero, it's gonna go there. Uh, that your your zero would start, or your your the size of your x would start on the square, which is on the middle, and your anchor point would be zero zero. So it starts. So the position of your anchor point is still in the middle, but you have a zero zero anchor point, so it's now on the lower right side. So you have to have a general understanding how the anchor point versus position versus size works. So I hope you got uh, an idea on how to resize your frame and we're going to go over it. Uh, we're going to use it on most of our tools, which is the text button, uh, the image button and other stuff. So I hope you learned something on how to adjust your frames, especially when you're going to support mobile and PC, this would help a lot. So I hope you learned something. And if you find, uh, uh, if you found a value on this kind of videos, we upload daily. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any question or if you need any help on creating your Roblox games, check us out at ProLemonGames.com and don't forget to leave a comment down below. Catch you on another video. Bye-bye.